guys, it's Jiri's Media here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some skate wax. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some candles from your house, just anything left over. Um, you can use tea candles, those, are, those will be fine. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a couple tools. You're going to need a pair of pliers and a Stanley knife to help take apart the tea candles. You don't really need the Stanley knife, but it is helpful. You're also going to want to use some crayons um, to color your wax. Today, we're just going to be using red, black, and, and blue, but you can use any colors you want. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some molds to help shape the wax that you have. Um, so we have a gummy bear one, a gun one, and a robot one. That's just the molds we had in our house. So you're going to need some vegetable oil and some butter. We don't have the butter because it was in the fridge, but you get the idea. So you want to cut the uh, metal that surrounds the candle, and then you just want to pull it away from the candle. Um, then you flip the candle over, and there should be a little metal thing you just pry that out with the edge of the knife and then you take the pliers and you just pull on the um, on the string or on the wick so once you are done with all of them you want to get the color of crayon that you got or that you chose and you just want to grind it and try to get little flakes of it out It's important that the pieces aren't too big or else they won't mix with the other color or the other candles you have. So once you're done with all the colors you're going to be using, you just want to put them into piles so that they don't get mixed. Um, and then you're going to want to put that in with the candles that you already um, took the wicks out of and took the metal off of. Next, you're going to want to cut a can open just with a knife. Um, and then you're gonna use scissors to just completely cut the top off of it and that's what you're gonna be putting all of your wax into you can also use a uh, bread tin with just tin foil on the inside so it doesn't get stuck to it next you just want to add probably a tablespoon of vegetable oil and then about a teaspoon of um, butter per can that you use. So you just want to let it uh, stay on the stove until there is no more chunks of wax in it and then you can pour it into your mold. After you pour it into your molds, you should just put it in the fridge and let it dry. And then once it comes out, it should be ready to pull out of the molds. Once you pull it out, there might be a little things on the edges or a little frays on it. And you can just take that off with a knife if you really care. Um, but then you should have your finished piece. And this is what ours look like.